Schubert's Unfinished Symphony is a remarkable piece, and many people have often wondered why he didn't finish such a great piece. But you have to understand it in the context of Schubert's development. He didn't finish a lot of pieces. There are many pieces by him that are unfinished, including a total of six unfinished symphonies. The first was written in 1811, when he was 14 years old, and this predates any of his finished symphonies. He then wrote six symphonies, all similar in mood and character to that unfinished first symphony. And then after he wrote those six symphonies for a small orchestra, obviously meant for a kind of school and private performance, he then went through a period where he wrote four unfinished symphonies, all of which led to the Great C Major Symphony of 1824. Those four unfinished symphonies were written first in 1818. We have from that piece, we have a beginning and an exposition of the first movement, an introduction and exposition, and a bit of a last movement. And the next one in 1821, we have bits of four movements. We then have one from 1821, a little later in the year, in E major, and that is a symphony that was almost complete. He wrote it into full score, but he only has in most of it just a melody and accompaniment. The first 110 bars are scored for the full orchestra. The rest is very, very sparsely scored. And then in 1822, we have the great unfinished symphony. And in each of those, he was working further towards the idea of what he wanted to do, which we know from a letter that he wrote, that he wanted to write a great grand symphony. And all of those were kind of essays towards it. So even the great unfinished symphony, he felt like he had not quite worked his way to the idea of the great symphony that he wished to write. By the way, the last unfinished symphony was written in 1828. That he didn't finish because he died. It is a remarkable piece of music, well worth being discovered. Again, it's pretty close to finished, and remarkably enough, it's only in three movements. It's interesting as well to view Schubert's unfinished symphonies in the context of our program, because we are also going to have the symphony in F minor by Bruckner. And Bruckner, just like Schubert, had a series of essays before he reached the final symphony in F minor, and these were a series of overtures and smaller pieces for orchestra that prepared him for the work of finally finishing his first symphony. The big difference between Bruckner and Schubert, of course, is that Bruckner lived 40 years longer than Schubert did and spent the next 40 years of his life writing, well, the next 30 years of his life, writing a series of 10 other symphonies that have become a really important part of the canon. But come hear this and you will hear a lot that connects Schubert and Bruckner in the music. It isn't just how they put their music together for these two symphonies. <laughs>